friends, welcome back to another video. It has been a hot minute since we have had a video. That's okay. Uh, we have been very busy behind the scenes working on the big Wrenchworks launch. Coming up April 1st, shameless plug of the video right off the bat. Make sure you guys are marking your calendars down. April 1st is the next big giveaway slash Wrenchworks launch. But anyway, guys, we've got a good video for you guys today featuring Featuring the one and only Michael's F450. We're gonna do some towing action. We are going to get into the video. But first, a couple little housekeeping things. Uh, I know, I'll get through them. In a couple weeks here, we've got Mid-America Truck Show that we will be at with the Peterbilt Mats. Uh, it is probably the largest big truck show out there. Louisville, Kentucky, we will be there. We will be set up all weekend, come out. It's gonna be an awesome time. Really looking forward to it. Never been, but I've heard nothing but awesome things. If you guys are into big trucks and are even remotely close to Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it's pretty central. Make sure you guys come out, come see us. We will be there, like I said, all weekend. Uh, so anyway, we have that show coming up. April 1st is the big launch for Wrenchworks. And then after that, Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. If you guys remember the last Smoky Mountain Truck Fest, the 05, the boys, the crew got a little wild. It got a little crazy. Uh, the guys at Smoky Mountain put on a great event. We'll be out there with multiple trucks, with the Peterbilt. It is April 8th and 9th. I'll put the dates on the screen, but that is in uh, Tennessee, right near Pigeon Forge. So a couple of the upcoming events if you guys are close-ish to kind of like this central area. But anyway, boys, that's it for the announcements. Let's get into today's video. We have got a good one. We have got a really cool product that uh, is going to change, change your life, I know, because we have done a similar product in a different variant. Let's just, you know, without 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 any more words, without any more words, say what's up, boys. Say what's up, boys. Over here, just hanging out, getting ready for the day. What do we got? Spin over here, hiding. Oof, we have got, we have got a shocker hitch in this box. So we're gonna unbox this baby, show you guys what I'm talking about, show you guys how it's gonna change your life. Oh yeah. Lift with your legs, boys. Good thing I ate my Wheaties this morning. Think if I drop it, it'll right the table? Yeah. Close. Oof. Oh, yes. Here you go, here you go. You can, you can. This is actually, this is actually a hitch. This is actually a hitch for Michael. So, we got this hitch because Michael's enclosed trailer and his 450. What would you, what would you, Michael, let's, before we get into this, how would you describe your towing experience with your with your trailer jerky herky jerky it's just it's heavy it just beats you up just hold on yeah <laughs> <laughs> it just beats you up like you hit some you, you hit some bottles you hit whatever it like sounds like the dash is coming out so yeah. I, wanted, I wanted to change that so. we'll go look at we'll go look at michael's enclosed trailer but michael's enclosed trailer that he tows the dragster in uh, is not a very smooth riding trailer, so this is actually a perfect test when we got the... So if you guys remember some of the previous videos, we actually did a shocker hitch install video on the gooseneck hitch. So we'll put a link somewhere above here. You can go watch the shocker hitch install on the gooseneck, but this is actually a bumper pull setup. So we're really, really curious. We loved the shocker hitch in the gooseneck setup so much that I was like, yo, we need to test this out. Michael actually saw it. Michael was like, do they make anything for a bumper pull? So we got one for a bumper pull so we could test it out to see if we love it just as much on his trailer because of just the fact that it doesn't yeah, ride little, as smooth. And a little bit more of the backstory is like the hardest thing for a race car is the trailer ride. Like mm. it beats them up. And I actually have another airbag that goes under the car and that's where the air thing kind of started from and then this yeah. just like nailed it. So yeah. Without making your trailer airbag and you know, you guys do that and they have tens and thousands of dollars and making your trailer right on air and like that just yeah. wasn't an option for me. So yeah. So we're not saying that your trailer ride right now is terrible, but it probably is. You probably just don't know it. You're probably just putting up with it. But yeah. honestly, if you tow a ton, which we end up doing here a lot with all of the racing and equipment moving, gooseneck stuff. Like these, this investment right here is worth it over and over and over again. We're not talking about something that is extremely massively expensive to where you're like, I'll never do it. These things are actually, in my opinion, 
decently affordable for what they're going to provide for years and years and years. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. Uh, Shocker Hitch, we'll put a link down below to check them out. Shocker Heavy Duty Hitch. So, little backstory, they used to make this hitch for like stuff that could tow like 10,000 and under uh, as time went on, as trucks could tow more. Obviously, Michael's got a new 450, like that thing can tow more than 10,000 pounds. So this is their this is their HD version, which is good for, uh, I believe like 16,000 pounds, something like that. Uh, but this is, this is a absolute beef of a unit. And the whole thing behind the shocker hitch, obviously, is this massive airbag. So on the HD version, you actually get a bigger, thicker frame and a much bigger airbag from everything that we've read. Again, I'm not an expert, but I did happen to watch every single video on the Shocker Hitch website, so you don't have to. But <laughs> if you want more information, go for it. But we're gonna show you guys uh, how this kind of like installs some of the quick things about it. They make tons of different configurations. So if you actually have a bigger truck and you need a bigger drop, or if you don't need uh, a drop at all or anything like that, they actually, anyone and everyone. So. Um, Obviously, we've got two different ball sizes here. You can get a different, they actually make different uh, attachments that go in throughout this if you didn't want a flip one. Um, but yeah, pretty much slides in. And they put the air, they put the air out here yep. where you're not like messing with it under the truck. Yep, so here's your air fitting. Again, it's gonna air up your airbag right here. Heavy duty airbag, these are kind of like a heavy duty truck airbag. It's kind of like the same thing on tractor trailers shameless plug here just so if you guys know like air bumper hitches adjustable ball mounts so non-air hitches they have as well shocker air trailer tongue mounts so that's what we were just talking about like look at the tongue you can actually get it on the tongue and then uh, right here weight distribution hitch something like that and then they also offer the gooseneck one so they pretty much they've they've honestly they have got it all which is really, really cool. Oh, right here. Uh, and then they have ones for like, kind of like camper setups as well. So really this is not like, in, in my opinion, we're looking for a smoother bumper pull ride. Uh, in my opinion, I will not have another gooseneck without a shocker hitch on it because they just, nothing beats you up more than bridge decks, the constant jarring back and forth and the, the gooseneck one took it completely 100% out. Yep. Are you reading the instructions? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, here you go. Didn't mean that, it was just for the camera. We didn't mean to match on purpose today, people. Even Dawson, even Dawson is, uh, un, you know, matching. We're, we're, Thursday shield game, bro. Thursday shield. We didn't mean it, we didn't mean to do it, so get over yourself, okay? <laughs> interesting hitch setup you got right here <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's supposed to be installed like that to be completely honest it's a storage oh that's just storage mm -hmm. so you can keep it. this is my 450 right here it's the wrong color <laughs> how do I look how do I look being a Ford man yeah. it's growing on me. a little less manly <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well uh one thing to note as michael michael you can you could you could you could put that in now you could you know just get we'll, we'll get both shots in one shot you know what i mean so as michael slides this hitch in here right now you will see that uh michael's truck actually uh has a reducer sleeve a lot of these bigger trucks now are coming with three inch receivers so we still have to run a sleeve on this unit uh, I do believe, and uh, if I'm wrong, it won't be the first time, and I'm just wrong. See, this guy didn't have a shocker hitch on his trailer. Do you hear him, hear him rattling by? Uh, I believe they are working or coming out with in the future. I'm not exactly sure when, so don't hold me to anything. Obviously, uh, a three inch receiver tube, so you don't have to run a sleeve. Uh, but nothing wrong with the sleeve, obviously. So we're running a sleeve right now. Uh, but really, as you guys can see, you really just slide it in. The airbag goes right up underneath of your uh, hitch. 
and we'll show you guys how to set the air and everything. But one thing that I thought was really interesting in the last video that kind of came up was, hey, we're going back and forth between trailers. Like it uses air if we want to lower or uh, adjust the air pressure. How exactly are we going to do that mobily uh, if you don't have air? I mean, obviously there's gas stations that have air, all of that stuff. But uh, what I thought was interesting in one of the Shocker Hitch videos was, Pretty much every cordless manufacturer, everyone has a cordless drill air compressor, which I thought was really cool. So if you guys need air or it's something that you're gonna be doing a lot of and you don't wanna rely on the gas station, really quick, easy, simple uh, is a like a drill electric impact powered compressor with a little hose. It's actually the coolest thing ever, which, I, which is really interesting because on the 08, like I've been carrying around this contraption or whatever, you don't need a compressor, you don't need all this stuff, just get a little drill. See, one of the frequently asked questions was, how often should you grease it? The grease is actually, doesn't lube the pivot as much as it does keeps water out of it. So you oh, cannot, right. you cannot over grease it is what they said. Awesome. Everyone wants to know worst case scenario, right? So say uh, something happens to your airbag, something, whatever something happens to your air so what will still happen is uh this will these bumpers right here will act almost like a normal style uh hitch so you don't have to worry about if it goes flat or whatever these bumpers will still operate like a normal hitch if something were to happen if something were to break um is it still functional can you still use it can it still operate and the answer for that would be yes so to set our air We'll come over here um, and we'll just go ahead and watch these bushings. Got to go back to the other video because everybody <laughs> just really loves some dirty ball grease jokes. You guys are all sick. To set air, hook up trailer using properly selected ball adapter, height adjustment, blah, blah, blah. Next, inflate the airbag. As air pressure increases, the unit will rotate lifting the hitch point, install enough air to compress the black top bushing apply approximately one eighth squeeze into the bushing. All right. So you can kind of see all that, see all that gap that's back in her. So we'll have to adjust the air pressure. This is the black bushing that they were talking about in that instruction. So this is kind of like how you know where to set it. So as we air this up and this pivot point gets closer, we're gonna put that little bit of eighth inch squeeze on this bushing right here, which is gonna kind of move that closer, so. I don't know. Looks you like want to take lot. you want to take a guess? I'm gonna guess 50. 50? Yeah. I was gonna say this thing is a big. Well, we're at 10 right now. We need what eighth of an inch of squeeze. That's so about it's, touched. It's touching. Probably just put 50 in and call it good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? It's at 47. That's Money. A Money. <laughs> little extra squeeze. A little extra squeeze. Well, they did say they did say more for heavy. Okay. All right. So, I mean, 50 is a good number to start at because we know that it's right at 50. Yeah. That's a great guess. That was a that was a really good guess. All right. So we got 50 pounds of air. So as you guys can kind of see from those last little clips of michael's trailer like this trailer is well i mean how long is it 34 not what she said i mean uh the trailer 34 so like you don't this is a pretty big bumper pull like yeah. i don't think you can get a bigger enclosed 34 foot bumper pull is 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 really very at the top end of bumper pull so um this trailer we know weighs around 8 to 8500 empty 
Um, so probably right now it's riding about 9,000 pounds, which might be good for you guys if, if they have something that's lighter and just already filled. Right. A lot of guys might be riding around at 9 to 10. All right, here we go. It's time. Time to test the shocker out. 50 pounds, here we come. Look at this beautiful Ford truck that we have to test this out with. Michael's excited. I'm really excited. Michael's excited. I'm pretty excited as well. By the way, just throwing this out here randomly in this video, if any of you guys want to come help me widen the driveway, you know, that is number uno, number one on the list because getting these trailers in and out of my driveway is an absolute thing. turning radius oh my gosh the turning radius of this truck dude smart cars are about to be better you know? wow oh my gosh also random comment of this video guys if I was to get a 450 would you guys all unsubscribe <laughs> from the channel I think the biggest thing that we noticed with the gooseneck hitch was how much it was working when we didn't know it was right. working. So like when you guys watch the GoPro footage of how much it's actually soaking up and absorbing, I think shows the work more than our butt dinos saying, oh wow, it's that much smoother, you know? It's, it's tough to tell, especially just, you're taking our word for it pretty much, uh, which is gold by the way, <clears throat> but. Oh, is oh, that yeah. the front one? Oh yeah. oh yeah, there he is in reverse. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know everything just to get these angles for these these people on, on the on, on the internet here you know the, the amount of effort level is is, is 100 right now they We're appreciate risking young doll's life you know one video at a time for you guys and your angles what do you think i think the truck rides like this with a trailer normally it rides down here like it goes down a notch and then with the airbag, it gets smoother because of the weight of everything. I think it rides better with this than driving around empty. But driving around an empty truck. Driving around an empty truck. Mm. But I think that's hard to. Like it just kind of sounds salesman. Like. Yeah, and I think that's the that's some of the like like I was saying before. If we like, <laughs> hey, this thing is awesome. I can't really show you except for like Dawson's footage of it moving around back there. Uh, Dawson is now currently in the back of the bed, you know. <laughs> but you know, Dawson's probably got the best eye view until we uh, until we go back review and edit the footage. Yeah, I hope his footage shows how much it moves yeah. to justify all. Hey, give, give us the, give us the review back there, bud. Money. <laughs> Money. Put it on a cracker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how do I turn on my massaging seats? Okay. Yeah, turn me up all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now I'm ready to see if this thing is smooth or not. I'm gonna bump. I feel this every day. Feel this bump every day. Here we go. As I was doing this yeah. view right here, right. all of this like stretches when when he like pulled in, in and the middle of a turn. It, it 
it all it takes all that spring load yeah. that you normally feel in the truck when it like pulls you back almost. When you hit the brakes, does it do a lot? Uh, when you hit the brakes, no. When you okay. stop and the truck rocks, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what I noticed a lot with the gooseneck one was like the the jarring back and forth was really absorbed by that. driveway wrapping up this video on the shocker hitch bumper pull I would tell you guys if it was a piece of junk and in my opinion <laughs> what just getting it out there I would <laughs> listen if something is a pile of junk I would absolutely tell you guys we probably wouldn't you wouldn't even see it on the video honestly it would probably never get posted because we don't we don't want to call anybody out like that but anyway guys in my opinion, two thumbs up, as always, from the guys over at Shocker Hitch. What do you think, Michael? Any final any final opinions, reviews, thoughts? I love it. It rides really smooth. I also thought too, it doesn't uh, it doesn't make the 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 hitch I'm sorry, it doesn't make the trailer like get really far away from the truck too. Like some other yeah. some other styles have a like where it'd be back here and then the chains are too short, the lights are too short, stuff like that. So now that was kind of nice. It is I mean it is a little bit longer, but like than a normal, but like not. I think not I think when we first saw what it was, I think in pictures it looks a little bulky. It looks very and yeah. you're like, holy crap, this thing is gonna overwhelm the back of my truck and it's gonna look kind of out of place. But honestly, seeing it on the truck, like it, it really doesn't. I uh, think it I think if you know what you're looking for, you'll see it. But if the average person going down the road wouldn't even notice it. Yeah, I like that it's still as close to the bumper. It doesn't kind of get leverage point way out, but would you would you would you give it a two thumbs up? Mm. I'd say like probably closer to like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, like 10 that. out of 10, you don't have 10 thumbs. Like again, guys, I honestly feel like for, uh, I, I love these things. I'm completely sold on it. It's the same thing that I say about the gooseneck ones. For the price and how much they are, or honestly are not in my opinion, uh, you know, you get a lot of hitches out there that are really, really, really expensive and you start to question whether the dollar is worth the extra ride and all that other stuff. You know, you can get up to, up to a G pretty quick on these crazy hitches and these things are just nowhere near that amount. So uh, I would recommend it for anything, everything, bumper pull, gooseneck, RV related. Like I said, they got you covered across the board. So anyway, if you guys want, I'll leave a link down below where you guys can go check them out. Uh, it's really just for you guys, have nothing to do with anything that we have going on here, but just a good solid product that I think you guys would benefit from and really, really like yourself. So if you guys do a lot of towing, check them out and again this is the hd version because big units only around here so what do you say man i think we've all had that buddy with the skid steer and like a, a small trailer i think it would just it would shine there yeah even more yeah even more yep everyone again the pressure varies on the load that you would have to kind of like dial in yourself very easy uh, and again even if you have a smaller truck an f-150 with just small stuff the non-hd version whatever so like i said check them out that's a wrap we will see you guys in the next video guys stay tuned again as always april 1st dropping that new wrenchworks giveaway you guys are not going to want to miss out it is it is off the charts big bigger than michael's 34 foot trailer big <laughs> huge so anyway we'll see you guys in the next video see you